Nobody remembers anything. Not when the world changed. Nor why. A mysterious dust poisoned the surface, affecting the brains of humans and stealing their memories. Strange apparitions began to appear. Humans fled their devastated cities. Only underground could humans escape the demons and the dust. The dust took from us, but to some, it gave something new. The ability to transform their will into energy. This new breed, the espers, risk their lives searching the surface world for clues. on the surface that might let us recover the memories we've lost. I must 
Finally woken up, I see. Were you the one that brought us here? <laughs> Why don't you tell us what happened? You've no memory at all, is that right? Just an image of some ancient ruins. And a strange gut feeling that you have to go there. I... But how did you know that? Everybody's the same, all of us. Now you. Please, follow me. I'll explain everything once we arrive. like I told you. None of us remembers anything. We live in this world we don't understand, with people without memories wandering around, with monsters roaming the surface and these strange particles and paranormal skills. I see. This place is like the lost and found counter at a catastrophe discount store. So, we're lost sheep with no memory. Just like you. There is one difference. The two of you were found in strange metal pods. But Leader says we are all lost souls. All we have left is this underground world and our scraps of memories and the image of the ruins in our heads. Ruins. The image I saw in my dream. Leader says that the fact we all share the same image must be more than mere coincidence. He's right, I think. 
And so we are systematically searching the surface world for the ruins. We hope you can help with that search as well. Are you saying you want us to join the visions? We are very short-handed. Especially when it comes to people with skills. <laughs> but I am haunted by the ruins. I'll give it some thought. Ah, ah. Such a generous man is our leader. Leader says, Edgar, take your time. You don't mind us calling you Edgar, do you? We saw your locket, too. You care about the woman in the photograph, don't you? Perhaps. Helping us will lead you to find her. And you. We should find a name for you as well. You need a name even if you don't have memories. Just pick a name that sounds good to you, and we'll call you that. Everyone picks their names here. Or perhaps... You're one of the lucky ones who remembers his real name. <laughs> <laughs>